it's April 14th here in Wisconsin and uh, having some beautiful weather in 80s for a week but we're going to turn cold and maybe have some snow tomorrow night so that's the way it rolls here and I'm bit, just starting our farm season farm with my nephew son and, and brother farm about 23 or 400 acres of corn and soybeans here in southwest Wisconsin so a very busy time for us and I'll be starting the lessons late in, late in May but getting a lot of athletes who watch the show that are saying uh, bogey and I'm having a big Big troubles early on here, can't even hit the ball, having trouble with focus, having trouble with rolling over. So very first thing you got to do is videotape your swing and analyze it compared to what you see on the shows. Uh, we have a great episode on how to videotape the swing. Once you do that, that's your first step. If you want to improve, you got to videotape your swing. I know I've said it a lot and I say it to all the classes and lessons I give, but I think it's a small group of athletes that videotape. So you can use an iPhone, you can film in slow motion, you can use an Android. but. Uh, certainly watch this video clip and it'll, it'll help you out a lot. Your main goal should be hit it to an open area. You know, you practice, don't just swing away and pound it around the field. Pick your areas and hit, that's what all the great hitters do. You know, then, you know, mechanics is going to be your quickest way to improving exit speed. We don't teach home run hitting, we teach power hitting. And power hitting is improving your exit speed, trying to get faster line drives so you can drive it by guys. And, and really power hitting for a lot of the guys that I work with as seniors that are in their 60s and 70s means that they're creeping into the co-ed line to the 200 foot line. And then, you know, they want to be able to hit it over their heads to back them up to create more of an area where they have more room and they just don't run back after 240 foot fly ball. Start hitting the line drives into the gap and increasing your your technique is is, is is great and that increases your exit speed that's what power hitting is but first of all hit it to an open area first you know that's going to add 150 points to your average right away balance your tee work with your live work here at the start of the season I know guys that hit uh, four days a week because they say you can't get live BP. Well, get a Blue Flame pitching machine, which is about $150, and then hire somebody, you have a girlfriend or a kid in the neighborhood you pay to uh, run it because you have to get a balance of live BP. I, I like to do two sessions of uh, live BP for every T session because, um, you know, the the T you can always have a, you can have a, a bad swing off a T and you can go ahead and uh, you, your timing will be perfect on it so you can hit somewhat effectively but as soon as you get the live hitting especially if you're swinging up all the time uh, trying to trying to get that well, that golf swing um, you can hit off the T fine but you're always over the top of a live pitching so you know the seniors and we work with the young young guys too you know but with seniors what happens is I see seniors forget what it's like to be explosive uh, I'll put it this way this way, when I was in my 50s, I could swing at 80% of what I had effort-wise and, you know, generate all the power I wanted to do and have a good, go. good explosive swing. But now, as I've reached 69 and I see it for all kinds of guys, I see it for Steve Emily, we talk about all the time. You've, we used to put out 80% effort so people say, oh, don't swing 100%, but just swing re relaxed and fast and explosive and easy. Now, I feel like I have to put out 100% of what I have just to get to a point where, you know, I'm being able to hit with some, with some power and hit, hit some home runs. So, certainly that's going to change as you get in better shape. But as seniors, we forget, we forget that. Pretty soon guys are just guiding the ball. And they're just swinging, you know, you know, half speed, trying to just guide the ball. And one thing I'm surprised with is, even as lamed up as I am, uh, and reaching the stage, you can still generate a good amount of power if you cut the swing loose and swing fluid with good mechanics. You know, good mechanics are going to be a number one. But cut it loose. Sw try to swing for power. Don't just say, hey, you know, I, you know, you, you might fly out twice. Well, that's your fault for hitting to the fielder. If you hit, you know, if you got a four-man outfield and you're hitting the center field, those flyouts will land on the track. So find an open area and then swing away with power. And then lastly. Aim at the part of the ball you want to attack. If you want to hit more line drives, aim more towards the middle, aim at the bottom. And what that does is if you aim, you know, you might be changing your angle only this much. Aim at the top of the ball to aim at the bottom of the ball. Uh, that's changing the angle maybe 20 degrees, but that's easy to do. It's easy to change the angle, but a lot of hitters, especially like level hitters, don't, don't swing at a part of the ball. You want to hit under spin, you want to have your swing a little bit flatter than the path of the pitch coming in. Don't match it up to the path of the pitch coming in. Go to where the point of contact is going to be. That's where you want to attack it. And you want to drive everything slightly up is a line drive, but still make sure your swing path is more level than the path of the pitch coming in. 
and uh, you know, secondly, try to get in good shape. Dave Lesko is our buddy from Senior Softball Bat Reviews. Aside from the bat reviews, which is great, Dave's really gone into uh, softball with a passion. He's to get, he's driven to try to help out softball guys. He's doing a paid prescription, three different levels, and I'm supporting him with one of the levels because he's my buddy. And I love the way he's got the passion for it. And he's putting stuff out there for seniors on, on weightlifting, nutrition, stuff like that. So Dave's got a pay-per-view channel. You can uh, watch the show. It says, uh, you know, uh, the order at the, at the bottom of the clip. He'll, or you can talk to him about it on Senior Softball Bat Review. But I say, suggest... Uh, that uh, you watch some of the stuff he does. He's, uh, you know, whether it's, whether it be supplements, whether it be testosterone, whatever. Dave's got the passion, and that's one of the avenues you look at to try to improve yourself physically. So our lessons, I start in, in May, and I go all the way through to June 20th, and I get my knee replaced. And the last time I had my knee replaced, I was hitting off the tee after a week. I got an exercise bike. That was the best thing for me. Loosen, you know, the, the bone right away, they cement it in, so that's as strong as it's going to get, but you have to loosen up the soft tissue. But this one here, I don't know how long it's going to be, so I'm probably pushing out to the middle of July, and then I do the middle of July to August, and then I shut down for for the fall harvest. Um, so if you're interested in the lesson, you can go to sportstechnique.com, read about it, and and you can contact me by email. Uh, Brett, again, like I said, is doing the video lessons. And then this fall, we're going to do, we do camps in December and January in Florida. Probably not going to do as many as I did a year ago. I might do five of them there. I apologize for people I can't get in because it's only six athletes to a camp. You work with a partner, and it's a two-day camp. And um, But there's, there's, other, there's other people out there that... Uh, Another place you can go, Softball Magazine, has a senior camp in November, which I've been at up the whole 10 years. It's great. Um, Bob, Steve Emily and I start out being the instructors there, but as time has rolled on, Bob O'Brien. Bob O'Brien's great. He's a funny guy, a great teacher. He had a baseball background at the University of Miami, won the uh, National World Series when he was in school. And Bob's our main instructor now, and he talks not just about hitting, but on uh, strategy, shoulder workouts, uh, defense, uh, he and Alan Tan and the group there from Mike and Worth, Mike Dill, those guys are the mainstays of Softball Magazine now. So I'll be there representing Dee Marini um, as the senior pro and just helping out one-on-one. -on -one. So Softball Magazine is an option. Bob, I know, does lessons. Alan, I think, has a camp. Uh, our good buddy Steve Imlay. Steve Imlay has uh, been my best friend in softball. Steve's out on the West Coast, Arizona, SLIacademy.com. But Steve's one of the nicest guys you ever meet, one of the greatest players ever. And he's 75 years old now, 74, playing 75, so we're all aging together. But Steve does a great job. If you're interested in uh, going to one of his camps, he, he works camps out on the West Coast. But all over, he's traveled to Colorado and out on out in the Midwest. If you want to get a hold of Steve, uh, I'll be glad to give you a referral. He's one of the guys that he teaches. He's been on our show a lot. He's helped us develop these programs over the years, and him and I talk a lot about hitting, and I can't recommend him enough. If you're in Florida over the winter or in the summertime, stop by Woodlawn Hitting Club. Uh, Dave and Bear started it, and Dave's still running it. Uh, Dave's 84 years old now. Just a Absolute freaking nature in a couple Hall of Fames and probably should be in the Hall of Fame for charming guys. He's just in in incredible. But it, they're welcoming you down there. You get 50 swings. If you want to access the show, go to go to uh, sportstechnique.com. Most of the shows are listed all the way from number one to 260 or 70, wherever we are now. There's over 400 videos there. They'll have uh, most of them will have a link to it with a description. I've got a stretch here from about 150 to about 200 where I'm going back through and trying to get that updated. But that's the easiest place to find shows. You can find something that you um, are interested in working on, something that you see on your video. So have a great start to the season. We'll talk to you down the road.